Hello everyone, the Chart Guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now, and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit, and we feel after watching this course, it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge, which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Hey everyone, checking in on SPY daily, weekly, shorter term time frame. So we were looking for today to potentially be a catalyst to break from the tight range that we have been in. And it didn't happen. So look at the volume. The volume was there to make a break. The highest volume day we'd seen in pretty much a month. But the doji pretty much sums exactly what's going on. Indecision, battle between the bulls and the bears, and a pretty equal battle at that. With the upper wick and the lower wick the same size. So we have tested and held the middle Bollinger Band support. Let's see here. Six of the last seven days. We did close just below it yesterday, but... There was a little bit of wild action at the end of the day battling for that level, and it glitched about 10 cents in the last couple seconds. So either way, that's not convincing. And we're still watching the middle Bollinger Band support of 226, and we're looking at resistance of 227.40, which we couldn't break, and then 227.75, the all-time high. So traders are just waiting for any direction. They don't care if it's up or down. Just give us some kind of conviction. The last time that we had seen conviction was back at the end of 2016, these little three red days, and there was some nice trading opportunity there. But other than those three days, take that out of the picture. And we've got about a month, let's say five weeks in a row of just choppy back and forth action. And most notably, red, green, red, green, red, green, no clear direction. And it's going to break next week. Very, very most likely inside candlesticks two weeks in a row. Range continues to tighten. The range this week was less than $2. And next week, it's going to be, would have to be even tighter to remain in that tight range. So a break of 227.31 will be a bull break of the inside candlestick next week. And a break of 225.41 will be a bearish break. So we're going to be watching closely at those levels, looking at the five-minute time frame. There was some nice trading opportunity, trading some weekly spy options. And what I'm finding these days is I'm trading a lot less with doing the live analysis for two and a half hours every day. And then I'm in the chat room answering questions all day. So I'm being very, very picky with my positions and my spots. And I don't even make my first trade until I'm done live, usually after about 11 a.m. Eastern. So that allows me to wait for price action to form during the day. And so here's an example where we had our low of 226.82 and our double low at 226.82. So as soon as that level breaks, you can see it's getting tighter and tighter, a bit of a descending triangle pattern horizontal base of support, lower highs, tighter, tighter. And then that clear break led to a quick flush from 226.82 and a 49 cent drop in five minutes. So that's a nice trading opportunity there. And again, it's just because that price action has been established going off price action that's already established during the day. And then there was some nice back and forth. We saw the bulls bounce off that daily middle Bollinger Band time and time again. And there was a lot of opportunity in each direction. We had members trading short term and just really scalping you know, 10% moves, which is significant, not in the world of options so much, but if you can just make some consistent 10% trades, those gains certainly add up. So at the end of the day, the bulls did show up, defend that middle Bollinger Band and close on that doji.
we had a lot of back and forth on the hourly with these moving averages. And whenever we see a moving average that has a lot of back and forth, it's resistance, then support, then resistance. I put a lot less weight into those moving averages. So I wasn't looking at the hourly at all today. Once I started seeing that was going to be the case. And it was all about the daily middle Bollinger Band support, which did hold. So we'll see about that range on the weekly time frame. We'll be watching those inside candlesticks close. And I would give favor to the bulls due to the overall trend and due to the fact that we are not pulling back there's not too much fear we're maintaining support and all we are is just one bullish day i believe about 0.6 percent at this point from a new all-time high so watching very close next week for some conviction and direction and until then being quick with our trades taking the profit when, profit when we have it and waiting for some direction i appreciate you watching hope you have a great weekend we'll see you soon